here's today's question, which is worth a total of 25 marks. In part a, we have to solve this quadratic equation. Given our answers in the form a plus or minus root b, we can find the roots of a quadratic equation by using the minus b formula, which can be found on page 20 of your logbooks. In this question, a is equal to 1, b equals minus 2, and c equals minus 4. Filling these values into our minus b formula, we get this equation. Multiplying out our brackets, we get x equals 2 plus or minus root 20 divided by 2. However, since root 20 can be written as root 4 by 5, we can write this as x equals 2 plus or minus root 4 by root 5 over 2, which can be simplified to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. Now we can just divide the top line by 2, which leaves us with x equals 1 plus or minus root 5, which is in the form they ask us in the question. For solving part A, we get 10 marks. Moving on to part B, we have to multiply out c plus root d squared. When squaring out a bracket such as this, a trick my teacher told us is to square the first, square the second, and then twice the first by the second. This may sound confusing at first, but let's just do it as it's a lot easier than it sounds. Squaring the first number, we get c squared. Squaring the second number, we get d. And twice the first number, by the second number, gives us 2c root d. If you like, you can rewrite this as c squared plus 2c root d plus d. If you learn this trick off, it'll make squaring out any brackets a lot easier and faster. That's all we have to do for part b, and that gives us 5 marks. Moving on to part c, we have to say whether each of these numbers is an element of the natural numbers, the integers, the rational numbers, or the irrational numbers. The first line is already done for us. This question requires you to know what natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers are. So let's define each of them. Natural numbers are any positive whole numbers, such as 1, 2, or 3. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers, such as minus 1, 0, or 1. Rational numbers are any numbers that can be written as a fraction, such as 2 fifths or a half. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be written as a fraction, such as 2 root 3 or root 2. The first number we're given, root 6, is an irrational number since it cannot be written as a fraction and is definitely not a whole number. The second number, 2 thirds, is a rational number since it is a fraction. The last number, minus 4, is both an integer and a rational number since technically minus 4 can be written as minus 4 over 1. Now that we fill out our table, we get the last 10 marks going for the question. I hope this solution video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again.